Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to optimize the process of carrying out a set of experiments using MATLAB. So here I have a control system and uh, here I have criterion of its efficiency and I have a typical task. I need to see and examine how my criterion changes in dependence on the variation of my controller parameters. So the typical conventional way of doing this would be to manually change these parameters here and after each change run the model, check the criterion, write it down in the table and uh, but this is very inefficient and takes a long time and I will show you how to do it uh, the smart way so we will create a new script and the first thing would be to define the model we will be using our model name is M1 so we write down its name here then we load it now we will define uh, the variation ranges of our controller parameters And since we have uh, two parameters for variation, we will create two cycles. First cycle would be for proportional gain of our controller. And the second one will be for integral part of our controller and in each cycle we will simulate our model and write down in our matrix the value of our criterion. I have it in the display and also I copy it to this vari variable. So by this string I'm putting the value after simulation in the matrix. So here we have the calculation part, now we need to put it, uh, put the results in the figure. So how we do it? We define the ranges as well.
So after the calculations are finished, the results will be plotted uh, and represented as a surface in the figure. So we are ready and now only what we have to do is to push run. Ah, so first we save it. Okay, save. And now the script is running and we see the model is running multiple times. It will take some time. But we don't have to do anything more, we just wait. And that's the beauty and efficiency of this instrument. So now we wait for the results. Our calculations are finished. The script has put the results as a surface in the figure. Here it is, we can rotate it. Uh, check the parameters and the criterion value by moving the data tip. So it's very useful instrument. And you can use this approach not only for this task, but uh, for a bunch of other tasks as well. So this is a very universal approach. And I hope that you have learned something today that this information has been useful for you and uh, that's it for now.